Welcome back here to Papua New Guinea. My name is Ryan. We are here at the Nungat. Gorgeous place, as always. I don't know, it's like 10% slope heading downhill, and then 11% slope heading down, and then actually the hill goes back up. So I'm empty today. We're heading over to a brand new runway I've never been to myself. So new for you, new for me. Let's get started. This whole day has um, not gone quite as planned yet. So let's go ahead and get started, and hopefully it goes better from here on out. Igniters on or fuel pump on. And a low start. What's over 14% NG. Oil pressure is coming in, at least to the bottom of the red. Reduce our fuel. ET comes up a little fast because I just shut down about 15 minutes ago. And still only 635. Yeah, y'all win. 8% touchdown zone, up to a 15% slope. Um, our committed area is basically turning final wings level, and that's, you got about two seconds before calling final or committed, I guess. Um, this is what I've been told. Like I said, I haven't been here. We've gone over the chart. I've talked to other pilots that have gone in here before, so in that respect, I feel like I'm ready, but it is nice to actually have someone to fly with to kind of maybe walk you through some things and have an extra set of eyes, but it just didn't work out for today. All right, we're here at Denungit today, and we're heading over to Yawin. And here's the dilemma. If I can't land over there, do winds, which is really windy up there, just at a thousand feet. And I can't come back here and land, because now I'm going to have too much fuel with me. Because I have passengers get out of here, but then I'll have too much weight, and I can't get all of them, and so then, yeah. Then I have to fly around, but then it gets too late here, and I, if I come back in too early here, well, you can see the sun down below. It's coming up the runway. It comes into a black hole to where the sun's behind the mountain, right in your eye, and you can't see the runway. So there's a lot of things that I'm having to think about right now. It's not just a matter of let's take off, let's go land. It's like, does the timing work and everything else? So, ah, the stresses of being a bush pilot and popping any. All right, well, our fuel caps are on. Our selectors have already been checked this morning. Our controls, all free and correct. We'll turn off our terrain awareness system. We want, for pattern altitude, 5,400 feet. I'm nearly 5,000 now, so. And I am empty at 5430, so 54 and 63. There's a 54 and 63 for coming back into land. Ops are set at 20 degrees. We don't have a radar on this airplane. Those are verified. Morrisby 5565, November Tango Echo Taxi. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get him today. All stations to Nugget, one, two, three, nine, or November Tango Echo, taxiing to Nugget, Yawin. Uh, brakes release is safe abort today. Let's release the brakes, we're committed to go. Um, we're pretty light, so we should be able to get off pretty quick and easy today. After takeoff, we'll pitch for 85 knots, considering EPL, considering feather. We will feather if that EPL doesn't work. We'll go zero degrees of flaps, going down the valley to lowering terrain. 85, then 84 flaps. Crack my door and Make a mayday call if we can. Uh, harnesses, 5,000, 20 degrees, same as Goroka, so 1390 on the torque. So ignition inlet and lights. All right, we're a little blue dot, and we're just heading over here somewhere down there, so not very far away. All right, ignition condition, flaps 20, fuel and harnesses. Checklist is complete. 1390, rotate 54. The sun's starting to come up a lot better now, so. Let's go. And I'm sliding. Let's go. All right, airspeed is alive. It looks like I have two knots of headwind, at least indicating. I'm kind of just trying to get a good idea just as I come back in here what the winds are doing. All right, I've got, yeah, one knot coming in this way. 500. Like I said, 
Let's just note the winds and how much they change here in another thousand feet. All right, there's over 80, we'll go 10 degrees of flaps. We'll fly over the field first. Be good lay of the land, and then enter into the pattern, we'll do a go around one or maybe two times first. That will do igniters off, but we'll leave everything else. Orsby 8861, November Tango Echo. Orsby 5565, November Tango Echo. I can't get a hold of Morsby today, so... All right, let's do our brakes, our taws, our V-Ref is still the same. We just took off, so 63 knots, but let's just quickly verify. Yeah, uh, 10 knots up here, but it's getting a little bit rocky, so 5,400, yep, 63 knots for landing. We're landing on runway 15, so all right, 150. Perpendicular with our heading bug, V-Ref, lights and inlet are good. This one is turning final, wings level, power up 20 degrees of flaps, pitch for 73 and turn right out. For an emergency procedures we just talked about, prop and harness, prop is good, harness will get here in a minute. See terrain on, just so I can quickly, yep, okay, that looks good, rid of the terrain. We're just not familiar with this area, so that's why I wanted to look at the terrain just to get a good idea. All right, downwind. It's 5,400 feet. Like I said, touchdown's gonna be 8% slope. So let's just add one knot for our rotate speed, basically. So uh, basically anything over 7% slope, we wanna add a little bit of knots. Okay, it's right behind this mountain over here. I'm gonna fly up it and then come back down. Man, this is a gorgeous place though, isn't it? I'm landing this way, so the sun will not be in my eyes, but it will be in Denugget when I head back over that way. Winds are looking really good here, which is really encouraging, considering how strong they were over Denugget. So on 5,400 feet. Turning final is going to be 4,900 feet. Orsby 5565, November Tango Echo. Morsby, November, Tango, Echo, departed Denunget, 1 POB for Yawin. Now in the circuit, Yawin, for circuits, Yawin, will report on the ground or ops normal on the hour. Tango Echo, Pompey, calling it ops normal, 000 or on the ground. Echo. All stations, Yawin 1239 or November Tango Echo is in the circuit, Yawin. All right, 10 degrees of flaps. 20 degrees of flaps. I can see what they mean. It's like a tight, tight circuit. Massive waterfall over there. It's just gorgeous. I'm probably getting some drone footage today because I have to sit on the ground and kind of wait a little bit of time for Denunga's sun to get up a little bit higher. Okay, so I'm going to be landing this way. Yeah, the sun, I mean, it's all in full sun now, but we'll see how it feels because if it's even remotely in my eyes, I'm not landing here today. 500. It's 5,900. I mean, it's in full sun, which is encouraging. Winds up here are just one knot, which is good. There's no parking bay at this one, so we'll just turn around at the top. It's a hard left-hand turn out of here on takeoff, so. Immediate right-hand turn, we're gonna do a go-around on this first one, potentially the second one. Um, I'll plan to land at the first cone in from the threshold. Okay, here's my pattern altitude nearly, I'm about 100 foot high. And into our downwind, we're already at 20 degrees of flaps. We want turning final, 4,900. 500. All right, 5,200 for, a correction, 5,100 for turning base. Look at this mount as close as we can. Oh yeah, I think I'm gonna have to come in a little bit lower than this. No way I'm gonna be able to get to that. 500. Have to be like a 300 foot approach, I think. Um, 
This is way too high for... Yeah, okay. We've got four knots of headwind coming out of here. Yeah, I'm going to have to drop down a couple hundred feet probably because I don't like that. All right, let's try 40, let's do 4,700 feet. That's all good. Prop and harness, those are all basically... 500. They left them. So let's just drop down our circuit from 54 to 5,200 feet. Come out here and then do a 180, join at a 45 into the circuit. All right, there's approaching 5,200 feet. All right, so 52, we'll be turning 4,900 at base now. All right, here's base. 24 knots, 64 final. Five knots ahead when we're landing. All right, this feels a little bit better. The full flaps checklist is complete. All right, this looks better. I still feel high. I mean, it is a 15% slope, but I'm going to go one more go. I'm going to drop down. That was at 47. Our correction, that was really 48. It was a little bit high because these trees make it really difficult to get down. So I really need to be turning final 4,700. 48 was just, it seemed too high. Because I had 700 feet per minute on the descent right there. And I could tell it was going to take more than that. It was going to be probably 800, 850 at least. Considering it's the first time, I don't want to have to be going in that. Our, our standard is about 700, 400 to 700, so. All right, 49 turning base, 47 turning final. Right over those trees, I'm going to go full flaps, drop the power, get down as fast as I can. 64 knots final, 74 on base. This little one tree right here, I'm gonna go right off to the right of it. 500. Full flaps checklist is complete. There you go, and now it's 47.50. This is looking a lot better, okay. I'm not headwind. All right, we are committed. 600 on the descent, 64 knots, looking good. You're not headwind. 50 on the descent. 500. All slippery. Overall, right. So let's go do a couple more landings here. I want to get three, really, to get a better baseline. Don't want to hit my wing on that rock over there. Okay, so it's going to be immediate turn out to the left. Low idle for now. Break on. Catch my breath. Take a breather. Get my thoughts correct before I just jump back up in here and do it again. Let me just kind of talk this through just for myself as well as you guys, but just so I can kind of just solidify it in my own head. I went over these trees over here around 49 to 48.50. There was one tree out there. I'm just going off to the right of that. 
right before I get to that, I went full flaps and then pushed over, kind of pulled the power to where I was turning final closer to like, really it was like 4750 to 4800 ish, somewhere right around in there. I'm not 100% sure. It felt pretty good. I felt like my first section of the approach was um, a little initially steep. I think I initially just pushed over a bit too much, so I need to just maybe kind of just roll into it and then just hold it and let my numbers just kind of get established first because I think I had closer to like, um, like 700 initially, then it was 600, then it went down to 450 on short, short final. It was at 400, so that means I'm getting a little bit flat and saggy kind of in my string approach. So I need to just kind of just hold the numbers and just kind of go with it rather than going off of what maybe my eyes are telling me with the slope. So, so you guys can see here, yeah, it's really not that far over here. It's just bump, seven minute flight from Denungit. All right, let's see, let's get all these actually down. All right, fuel is on. Our controls are still good. Switches and instruments, we're gonna leave everything the exact same. Our flaps are gonna set. And let's see, our flaps are set at 20 degrees and verified at 20 degrees. Okay, brakes releases go uh, committed on this one. There's no stopping, it's really slick. There's a little bit of a side slope off to the right hand side, so I'm gonna take off with my left aileron in. Um, and then as I'm just past this little crest, then I'm gonna go back into the uh, just level. After takeoff, it's immediate left hand turnout. We'll climb up to 4,900 feet. Um, no correction, 5,100 feet for pattern altitude, 49 over here. I don't even really know exactly what pattern altitude is. We're at 45 here at the top of the runway. I think it's like 100 something feet at the bottom less. So yeah, 4,400, so yeah, that sounds about right. All right, um, ignition, inlet, and lights are good. All stations, Yawin, 1239 or November Tango Echo circuits, Yawin. Okay, right, so ignition, let's get a beta. Uh, condition, flaps 20, fuel and harnesses, 4,500. So yeah, 1390, same as Denungit. All right, ignition, condition, flaps 20, fuel and harnesses. Let's go try this again. Might break our tires loose on this wet grass. is set, there's their speed alive. The rough. Just gonna let it fly down the hill. Pump up our ITT to 740. We've got four knots of headwind here, so I don't know if the wind really knows what to do, because it says it's from behind me and ahead of me, so <laughs> I don't really know what it's doing. Hey, right, we'll just leave our 20 degrees in, our full flaps, but we can go through this. Everything is still the same, lights and inlet there, prop and harness is good, and landing clearance, we're still on. Wind has completely died at Denungit, everything very still, no wind since you left, and total blue skies all around. Okay, well that is encouraging for me getting back into Denungit. All right, there's pattern altitude. My breathers. <laughs> yes, even after doing this for as many years as I have, I don't know, seven something years I think flying, still gets my heart rate up, that's for sure. I still am human. <laughs> All right, we wanted 4,900, so 5,100 for pattern altitude. I'm really high right now, so let me turn my 5,100 on my Bug to go down. Let's come way out here to give myself a lot of time and space just to think. Do not want to be in a rush coming into places like this, especially with no experience. After I do another couple more landings, I don't know if I'm going to film them all because I don't know if my batteries are going to last or they keep overheating, it looks like. I'm going to do some on the ground content with you guys. I'm going to walk down the airstrip just so I can kind of get a good feel for it myself. Our speed's back under control. 74 knots is what we want on base. It's a really short base. 
and it's really you only have the 74 knots on half the base by the time you get to that one tree then you're just pushing over and dropping down to 64 or 66 turning final then 64 on final that's 4900 already came up quick up and harness flaps to go Our 4900. Full flaps now. 500. Request complete. Uh, I like doing flaps there better. Is that tree? To get there, we're just going to push on over. There are 66 knots. 4,800 turning final. Ah, this looks a lot better. We're committed. Four knots ahead win. 700 on the descent. 65 knots, we want 64. There's 650 on the descent. This is looking really nice and stable. There's 550. Yeah, this is looking a lot better. It's a slope. All right, that one was a lot better. A lot more center line maintained. All right, last one, come back in, we'll land, we'll shut down, we'll walk the airstrip, and then second flight after this one, I won't have it on this video, I'll go back to the Nungit. Another really exciting place to go. No caps, done. Everything else is the same. We're still doing the same V-Rep, it feels good. Um, our flaps are still the same. Our trim, we get set up for takeoff. The board's gonna be the same, brakes release, immediate left-hand turn out. Engine failure rollback after takeoff will immediately pitch for 85 knots, probably go zero degrees of flaps. Um, we won't probably, we will go zero degrees of flaps, considering EPL, considering feather, which we will go feather if EPL does not work. Then we'll go 85, 80 full flaps close to the ground, crack my door, and uh, emergency button. All right, ignition. And the end lights, all stations, Yawin, 1239, November Tango, Echo, in the circuit, first circuits, Yawin. Okay, ignition condition, flaps 20, fuel and harnesses, 1390. All good having this in here, it didn't really pull off to the right at all, so that was nice. 1390, matter very slowly. I don't break my tires loose on the wet grass. There we go. 1390, bump it up a little bit. All right, airspeed's alive. Air's airborne already. Bump up our ITT to 740. Jet for 12 degrees. And a nice left-hand turnout. Man, this place is beautiful. There's a huge waterfall there. So stay tuned to the end, because I'm gonna get some drone photos for you guys. All right, this time I'm not gonna go quite out as far. I'm also not gonna go quite as high. I'm just gonna go to 5,100 feet, so go ahead and start pulling my power back right now because I don't need it fast either. All right, I'm feeling a lot more comfortable now coming in here. Basically, I'm heading back to Denunget, picking up my passengers that I dropped off over there that need to go here. Getting them coming back over here, dropping them off, then heading back to Denunget to pick up my other passengers to head to Garoka. So, a bit of a crazy morning. Turning base, 4,900, turning final, 4,800, really. I think 5,100 would be better for downwind, actually, because, yeah, because then you're just going down really fast. It's such a short circuit. I really think 5,000 on downwind, because I'm already 4,900 feet here. Yeah, I think I'm 5,000 for downwind. And prop and harness is good. 
a little bit low. Is that one tree? There we go. 500. Okay, there's our 4,900 feet for base. Go full flaps. Checklist is complete. Final 4800, 64 knots. Behind at 650 on the descent, a little bit fast. Knots ahead when we are committed. This is looking a lot better. Yeah, 650, there's 550 on the descent. That's 500. Perfect. That's what we want. Not the headwind. I'm feeling a lot more comfortable now. I can go get my passengers to come back over here. Let's walk around. And then, after this, up in the top right-hand corner of the video, if you're watching us at another time, I'll have my flight over to Denungit and you get to see that short little seven minute flight. We're just walking down the airstrip right now. The reason I do this is so I can see kind of maybe where some soft spots are or where different lengths of grass is. Also, I can kind of see if there's any specific bumps that I might want to look out for. Okay. Yeah, so he's just telling me how they made this airstrip. Now, you've probably been walking low one him date. You hold him, uh, do you think? Um, 1998. 98, okay. So he's saying right here, you guys can see coming down here, it kind of drops off over here, probably about five or six feet all the way down. So he was just saying, all the way up here is where they've actually had to add in dirt. The original ground was like lower down to where these plants were. They use bamboo and um, probably like coffee bags or something like that to put the ground on it and carry it down here, down to the end of the runway down here. And then on top is just solid rock. And he said that they weren't able to like break it up. So it is what it is. It's a little bit rough up there, but um, yeah. Time you start low walking, new no place bottles. I've um, been taking how much like yeah? Uh, long 1998 uh, and we play upgrade him that's all. Uh, like here you oh. can look him and we play him film of him commander but before uh, 1975, 76, 77 all been making this like see him been coming to construct him. Okay uh, so but, back in 1975 um, yeah. um Okay, so they started making this in 1975, took three years, they said some original missionaries were out here many, many years ago. 98, they took two months and re-straightened everything up and kind of reopened the airstrip, it sounds like, so. Moa, you got Moa, huh? We got Moa, but we know what this is, Oh, okay, no petrol, he stopped. Okay, suppose you put a short low petrol, now number of time behind. Suppose you just cut him na mil tasso and could plus something like me. So, me lay slow time, you cut him all side side. Tire blow me, I'm not go side side, you savvy. I'm na mil tasso. So, suppose you just cut him na mil. Now, behind, suppose petrol is stop, you can walk him side side. Tasso, past time, please. In up, you walk him na mil tasso. Blow on him, maybe talk penis tasso. Tire blow me, I'm not go up. So, okay. <laughs> All right, thank you though. Yeah. The only bad thing about walking down to the end is you have to walk back up. 
All right, now on to Denungat. To get those guys to come back here, I'm just gonna film going up to Denungat with you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this awesome new place with the waterfall, the views. It's definitely one of my favorites for sure. Thanks guys for watching. If you wanna see more on the ground content like this, check out my Patreon page. I've got tons of videos that I don't post on YouTube just to show you guys on the ground content. So see you next time.